I mean, I, I would I would say it depends what sector and what you're trying to do with it. But to to go back to the kind of the the, the entertainment piece around that, that you know, the, for us, content has to educate or entertain, preferably both. Um, but you know that entertainment piece doesn't mean cat videos on YouTube and it can mean that right but yeah. it you know you can make something entertaining about a bank yeah. you know you can make something entertaining about insurance um, it's how you do it and you know how you're pulling out those threads you know to your points that you know, and leaning on the the credibility and the the story that's in there I think it's very difficult if you start thinking about things oh we need to be entertaining or we need to be factual or we need to be educational because you're you're then not thinking about what's inherent to the brand and the story and the aim of that campaign yeah I agree and they're not necessarily real trade-offs right so so I'm here I'm hearing the word edutainment a little bit exactly oh, <laughs> no, um, so, 20, so 2019 edutainment. here we come wow. um, and it just it, it sort of it, it doesn't quite Makes sense to me. I mean, all, all along, you're, as a, if you're trying to communicate something, you've got to have a degree of wisdom in it. There's got to be some knowledge transfer to make it worthwhile. There's probably got a bit of bit. There's got to be a bit of delight in it. Yes, I'm I'm happy. I'm here, and ideally, there's a bit of that sort of sense of wonder as well. Like this is this is neat. This is yeah. new. This is this is lovely. And you, if those are your three primary colours, maybe you dial one up a bit more in certain circumstances and dial one down in certain circumstances. But I don't think these are these are. I don't think this is a fundamental. You, you're, ed, you're educational or you're entertaining. It's you've got to you've got to figure out your your right mix. Mm. Absolutely. For, for us, the the a good balance. Not saying it's the perfect balance in every case. Is upbeat but credible. Those mm. are the stories we're telling. You, you, and it's it's absolutely right that the quality of storytelling, the research behind it, the insight, the voices that you bring in to talk about it, make make a huge difference. It's it's easy enough to sort of have talking heads, you know, sort of giving the PR line for any company, but what you really want is that, is the human response. Uh, and I think it just takes, uh, you know, the sort of the good quality storytelling to pull that out, deliver it, to turn it into something of interest. You know, we are, as a custom content studio, we're a, a conduit between our audience at WSJ and or the, the clients, the brands that advertise with us. So mm. we've got to filter that message through in a way that makes it really interesting and relevant to our audience. That's our job. And I think that storytelling, surely that's the connection, isn't it, between entertainment and education? Because, you know, whether I'm telling a, a bedtime story or, you know, telling my parents something, it's, it's that interesting tale, isn't it? So whether it's back from Aesop's Fables or Octonauts, which is teaching, you know, marine biology to five-year-olds, it's all about the, the interest and that human connection with the story that makes you think, oh, I, I need to know more about that. And I think that's the key. Yeah, the human connection is the, the big one for me, you know, that we get tricked into talking about our audiences as these kind of blanket demographics, and it's completely untrue because every time you make a piece of content, you're talking to one person <laughs> who's completely different to everybody else, and just because they work in finance, their interest might be theatre, or it might be sports, or, you know, it, there's hundred different ways, m millions of different ways in which that single eyeball can be split, and um, you have to kind of constantly ask yourself, like, why are they watching this? Why mm. are they finding this interesting, funny, entertaining? Do I like this? Would I engage with this? You know, I work in advertising, and advertise, and I'm interested in advertising, but it forms a tiny percentage of the content that I consume on a daily basis. Mm. Um, and I think that's that's an important piece to constantly remind yourself that we're to get cut through. It's about that human connection.